Have you ever wondered what anthropology is? Many people have a sense of what it is, but quite often they don't know exactly what it involves. So today I'm going to talk very briefly about anthropology and more specifically about cultural anthropology. My name is Faris Khan and I'm a cultural anthropologist. get right to it. When many people think of anthropology, they may think of this. Or this. New species recently discovered. Gigantosaurus, Argentinosaurus. Not to mention Coldsaurus. <laughs> You're like Indiana Jones. I am like Indiana Jones. <laughs> or even this. You speak Norwegian? Well, I'm a forensic anthropologist. I know how to say skull in just about every language. Well, skalle. 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 But contrary to what popular media may have us believe, anthropology isn't about digging up dinosaurs or finding lost treasure and in the process destroying ancient sites. <laughs> and what do cultural anthropologists do? Anthropology is the study of what it means to be human and cultural anthropology is the study of the cultural and behavioral aspects of what it means to be human. This fall I am teaching an introductory course called Cultural Anthropology and in this course we will look at both the similarities and the differences between groups of people in different parts of the world. Ultimately, we also want to learn what these cultural groups can teach us about ourselves. But anthropology isn't simply a series of concepts and ideas about human beings. I mean, where do these concepts even come from? Surely they don't just come from sitting in a room by yourself and coming up with theories. So how do you go about studying culture and human behavior? Well, you study culture by going out into the world. And that's exactly one of the things that we'll be doing in this class. These are some of the sights and sounds from my own research experience. How I came to study the cultural beliefs and practices of gender and sexual minorities in Pakistan. <laughs> so the course is divided into two main parts. There's the lecture portion of the course, and then there's the lab. Throughout the semester, we will engage in a series of exercises and challenges that will connect us to the world outside the classroom. The lab section in particular will give you the chance to do what cultural anthropologists do, that is, to practice being a cultural anthropologist. Oh. 